And we're back. In the last episode, we went through the Fort Dragonia, I think. I don't remember what it's called, because it's been a while since I played this game. Yet, I still remember how to recruit every character. Now, we see what's behind this door. Do we? Sarge. Good morning, Sarge. Come on, sleepyhead. Get up. And it was all a dream. Pulling up the shade. Makes it brighter. Examine the bed. And you pull out your secret savings. Which in I think increases by 10 gold every 100 gold you get in that dream since just got up. Uh, examine the pot over here, and you get a tablet, which is an item, and you, just to tell you, you can close the stage and press X in front of it, not that it matters. Good morning, Sarge. You finally up? The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you're a young man still in Never Never Land. You should break, shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. You can talk, you can move while people are talking, but if you get too far away from them, the top bubble goes away. Now, if you head over here, examine this, you get a new frame. Oh, looks like you found it. Oh well, go ahead and take it. It's on me. Sarge retrieved the selfish frame. Head over here. And I don't plan on talking to every NPC. If you talk to this dude, he gives you a tutorial. Which I'm not doing it because I already tell you how to play. Up here is a record of fate, which basically is the save point of this game. And it also does something else, which I will, you'll see later in the game. Let's play. Now if you go this way, up into this building. I love talking to this old man. Humming a humming a humming a. She is a pretty. What a knockout that me dancer Miki is. What part? The poor town of Termius has its share of dancers, but no one. I say no one compares to Miki, but mind you, I never have actually seen Miki dance. Oh, how, how I lo would love to see them jiggle. Er, I mean her arms, of course. Whoa, Sarge, don't tell Grandma about this. I will. Uh, if you walk over here and examine the barrel four times. No answer, it's just a barrel. No answer, it's just a barrel. No answer, it's just a barrel. And the fourth time. What do you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. <laughs> Fine. Here. Just take it, man. Here. I totally messed that up, but whatever. Oh yeah, if you go into the inventory and look at your elements, you'll notice that all of them are gone. From the dream sequence. Ivory helmet, which counts as an accessory. Because there's no helmet slot, only a weapon and armor. A hacker and bone, which you will need to recruit a character. Right about now. 
It's the only character you can recruit this early in the game. Like, right at the beginning of the game. over to where that old man is. I forget his name. Radius. Radius. The old man, his name is Radius. If you walk over to this dog over here and use the heifer and bone by bringing up the key and then menu with the square button and pressing X. Ah, if, if that a heifer and bone, Sharky Poo, a uh, pre pre present for for I. How do you know? Hmm. To accept or not to accept? Ahem. Me accept your present, and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Sergi Poo. Pasu will join your party. The pink mystery gender dog. Oh, it's female. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, continue with on. Examine the bucket. You get a photon ray. Another element. Which, by the way, you have to equip elements. In case I didn't say that before. And you can use the item elements at any time. here and talk to this guy oh uh, hi Sarge I was lost in my thoughts there you know how Kiki is growing up so quickly sometimes it's just amazing how, how much she resembles her mother yeah I guess my wife is like that too she's been very much like her mother since long I can remember I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations it's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you can say everything here represents 10 years of my life. Line shark, sawfish, six-horned narwhals, you name it. They represent all my work and dedication. I love my job, and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path 10 years ago then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not sure which one would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about another you that might have been. Boy, life sure is complex. Oh, hey Sarge, you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet I made from a lion shark tooth 10 years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. Charge, receive shark tooth. You need that recru recruit a character, and not that later in the game. I can tell you, he's a real dummy. And head this way. Yippee! You're late, Charge. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised to go and get some Komodo Dragon Scales from my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. 
Woohoo, Sharky, Nina, look at me. Come on, you guys, you should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Go, go, okay, gotcha. Kids sure have it easy. Remember we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an attorney, filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But this, the important thing at it now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face the re to reality and live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault you were late. Once you collect some Komodo Dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at El Paso Beach. Is that okay with you, Sarge? No problem. Sure, no problem. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay then, don't just stand around and go collect some scale that lives rock. Let's see. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Sarge. I'm counting on you. And I think that's all the items here. So we can head to the next area. Before we go to a Pasha Beach, which is down there, we're going this way. To Cape Howell. Grab some items. Charge found heal. This is another healing spell, obviously. And bone, which is the material for making weapons and armor and accessories. Up there, if you keep going up, there's a great there's a stone that says Charge and Lena forever. If you want to examine that, uh, I can't remember. If there's anything in here that you can get. Oh yeah, he won't let you pass. Never mind. That's the Hydra Mars, so you'll be going there later. There's another area up here. But there's nothing really here. Right now. I don't even think there's any chests. Yeah, there's nothing up here. I couldn't remember. You can't go this way because there's people guarding the way, and I think that's everything. So I'm gonna cut the video here next time. Next video, you head to Lizard Rock and get some Komodo Dragon Scales. Dragonfire, signing off.